let's talk about some of these kind of core concepts that people understand how you understand the task of psychotherapy. So it seems to me that the it's kind of very central to your idea, and this is kind of uh, an idea that you've brought, brought in, an a innovative notion that, that you brought into the field 30 year, or so years ago when you began really developing your model, was this idea that multiplicity, this idea that we're all in some sense multiples, is really part of normal human functioning. So talk to us about that. What, what, what do you mean by that? Well, how is being a multiple or having multiple parts, as you put it, uh, central to how most of us function in the world? Well, uh, yeah, I didn't come to this idea of multiplicity naturally. I, I learned it from clients. And as I was working with clients, again, from my family therapy perspective, I was asking questions about why they were having symptoms. And they started talking about these different parts of them. But that was the word they used. And they could describe to me how these parts were interacting inside of them in ways that paralleled the way I, I was studying families. So uh, I started to take that seriously at some point and uh, actually started to try and help clients intervene inside themselves in these dialogues they were having, these conflicts. And, and uh, the more I studied it, the more these didn't seem to be metaphors. They didn't seem to be uh, even una one feeling, kind of like the angry part or the sad part, but in fact they seem like little personalities, full range personality. So that I started to think, well, maybe what's called multiple personality disorder is just this blown blown apart, so that the, the alters in a multiple are the same as these parts, but they've been so fragmented and locked away that they don't get along. And that's the position I take now. And so initially, I, like the rest of the field, thought it was pathological, that these, these clients were sicker than I thought because they had parts, and their parts were in such conflict. And then I started listening inside myself, and I've got them too. And some of mine are pretty extreme too, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> and. And as I listened, mine were full personalities too. And so if I've got them, then they can't be totally pathological. So, mm -hmm. so then I, I started uh, reconsidering that position and uh, have come to conclude now that it's the nature of the mind to be subdivided that way. That it's a natural state of the mind 